Make Aberdeen great again. It's Fog Football. It's FIFA 22. It's Jim Goodwin gone. It's Mr. Fog in. And we're going to do something that Jim Goodwin couldn't do. And that's actually win a few games, guys. Welcome to the brand new Aberdeen career mode here on FIFA 22. But we're going to do a realistic career mode. But apart from the fact that we're actually going to have a bit of success. Which Aberdeen are not known for. So this is episode one. We've got the transfer window turned off. We're not in Europe. We've got no excuses. We can literally focus on the league all season until we get to the cup, which Aberdeen never win anyway, so there's no expectations in that. But we need to bring glory times back to Aberdeen because at the moment, things are a shambles. Uh, ever since sacked Derek McKenzie, it's been downhill from there. Um, you know, Not making top six this season. Failure after failure. And it's times that we right the wrong of that. And we plan on doing that right here right now but before we get into the season we need to see what the board expect from us so let's have a look then at the board's expectations at the board's visions views and all that shit so you can see we're currently 80 at the moment on the managerial po uh, popularity rating latest objectives though they want us to sign let's see Youth development short term. Sign four players into the youth academy. Assigned to each one of the following positions. Goalkeeper, defender, midfielder, forward. Brand exposure. Create a streak of five clean sheets in home matches this season. That's a low priority, so the brand doesn't need to be exposed. Short term financial finish with at least 4.3 million profit. The end of the first transfer window. Looks like Calvin Ramsey's gone. That's Calvin Ramsey gone. Domestic success up next. Uh, goals focus on poor performance in the domestic league and cups. But as you can see, finish mid table. We're currently first. <laughs> Reach the semi final. We're currently in the quarters. Long term. Qualify for a European competition. Three seasons remaining. Is that not shocking objectives for Aberdeen? Nah, it's. Um, you can see that the border. They've had a hard time, they're not expecting much success, they've got pretty much used to failure and we need to get them out of that failure, we need to get them back to the the winning days. And Con uh, we don't have any. Yeah, we're not in Europe, so we're shite, we don't have any success in Europe, there'll never be a success in Europe under Aberdeen. Unless Sir Alex is managing them. But let's find out which players are going to make Aberdeen great again, or at least which players we have to stick with until we get to a transfer window. So... In terms of the goalkeeping positions, it's probably going to be Joe Lewis by default because we all know Gary Woods is shite. He's 30 years old, 61 overall. I mean, this guy ain't going to improve and the problem is he needs to improve big time. So I can't imagine Gary Woods will have much game time. We'll maybe feel sorry for him and give him like what the odd game, especially if Joe Lewis makes a mistake to piss us off. But I don't expect Gary Woods to feature much in this competition or in this series even. Moving on to the left-back positions. Johnny Hayes, McKenzie and Montgomery who's on loan from Celtic. Seems like a weird one when you've already got two left backs. But I feel like Johnny Hayes will be the, the holder down there. I feel like he'll be... So I sound rapey, didn't the holder down there? <laughs> Aye, I did I. Wee bit. Aye, wee bit. Alright. What? What? What's your problem? You. You've anger issues? No, no, no. Hold on, Mr. Smashy phone. You've anger issues. Ah, that's true, actually. Yeah, that's true. The phone's broke, right? Anyway, four centre backs up next. No, Dan no, fuck the four centre backs. I, I, I want to make a point, but you obviously. But who? Who no cares about these fuckers? I reckon Jack McKenzie should be the starting left back. He's 20, 63 rated. Right? Aye. Fair I, I think the guy's got more potential than Johnny Hayes, who's 33 and approaching the end of his career. Uh, I think McKenzie might just be a better option. Plus, you can always p play Johnny Hayes in a more advanced position. I think he's better going forward than he is defensively anyway. I think Johnny Hayes is the man to be pushed up front in McKenzie. Is it not is it not bad that Johnny Hayes' pictures from when he played for Celtic, which is like two years ago? Uh, EA. Disrespecting Aberdeen. But it's gonna stop when we win the league, isn't it? Of course. Of course it is. But next up with the four centre backs, Declan Gallagher, Bates, McCrory. And Devlin, who uh, in real life has been shown the door. Has he actually? Yeah, well, he's not getting his contract hanged. I know that for a fact. Uh, but in terms of starting ones, I think it would be uh, Gallagher. It would be Gallagher. What about McCrory? 69 rated. He plays in midfield. No, he doesn't have to. He's a centre back. Have you seen the midfield options? Okay, he starts in midfield. Next up, though, with everyone's favourite right back. The only right back. Yep, uh, 17. 
63 rate it. That's exactly what you like to see. Showing great potential. Just a pawn land Nathan Patterson. Though. How much longer will be showing that potential at Aberdeen though? I'm sure there'll be buyers coming in ready to snap him away. We'll try and keep him holding him for as long as possible. But I wouldn't count on it. Next up though, we have Ojo and Milne, the only two CDMs at the club. Don't yeah, know anything um, about these two guys. Uh, he's his contract's expiring. Milne's 54 rated. Why is this guy been signed? What age is he? 18? I mean, that's probably... That's sh- what What the fuck are we supposed to do with this team? Pray for the best. Matty Kennedy. Matty Kennedy on the left. The only left-sided player we have. He can also play right wing back. And I think that suggests my claim that we should push Johnny Hayes into that left-side position makes it more valuable because I think we've only got one left mid. It definitely does, guys. And due, and due to the transfer window already being over, we can't sign anybody. We're stuck. Aye, Lewis we're Ferguson, stuck. though, up next. We Lewis. could have done with Barry. Ah, Barry and Lewis, I think, would have made a good partnership. But we don't have Barry. But we've got Lewis, so 70 overall. He's actually, overalls went down, I think, in the latest upgrade. I think he was 71. In my career, he's 75. Ah, well, there you go. I mean, we need to play this guy, right? He could be the, he could be the main guy. Him... Him and Ramsey are probably the two guys that we need to focus on the most in this team if it's ever going to have success. So, yep, Lewis Ferguson, our key player. Next up, though, Terry Jenkins. That's Teddy. Terry Jenks, 19 years old, 50 overall. Um, has something special, apparently. You'll need to... Fucking show it. You'll, you'll, you'll need to show it, because at the moment, that 58 rating's not showing as much. Next up with a guy's name I can't pronounce. It's Dylan Magoo, former Hibs man. Is that um, how it's pronounced, Dylan Magoo? Yeah, it is, I. Mr. I, Magoo. I'm not a big fan of this Dylan Magoo guy's contract expires in 12 months, so it looks like... It will expire. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Unless we sign him up, I don't know, but uh, he, he could prove to be a vital part of the team, and we might keep him on, but for now, I don't have much expectations from Dylan McGrew. Next up with someone, Barron. Someone have even less expectations for. We've got Connor Barron. I mean, Aberdeen have a lot of youngsters. The problem is none of them are good. Yeah, I mean, 18. Well, I mean, Ramsey and Ferguson, but apart yeah, from no, these guys. Yeah. All right, okay. Up next, we have uh, Dante oh. Polvara. Next. He's 21. The Yank coming over in a boat from America. Shipped in. We didn't want him, but we've, we've been given him instead. So, who knows? It costs too much money to send him back. So, 52 overall. Don't know if this guy's going to be any good. Well, he's, we've got him in the team. Who knows? Maybe he'll he made the sub appearance, but I'm not expecting much for him. Uh, then we move on to Connor McLennan. Uh, right mid, right wing back. 65 overall. 21 years of age. Uh, someone with a bit of potential, you know. You, you could probably get him to maybe a 70 rate it. You could definitely. I mean, 21, there's still room to improve there. There is. Aye. No reason aye. not. Next up, though, we have Victor. No, it's Vincent. It's Vincent Bazusian. Uh 20 rate it. No, age 20, 65 rated, and that, like, a, lot of, a lot of youth, but... Yeah, it could be a decent player, I mean, can play on the right, can play on the left. Uh, recently, he was lying down in the box in real life against Dundee, and pretending to be up. dead. And for that reason alone, I kind of just want to, uh, you know, terminate his contract. But we're desperate for players, so we can't really do Next that. Next up, though, Ramirez, Christian, 30, which is a bit shit, I didn't know he Another yank, I guess it's the uh, the whole Aberdeen are linked up with... Atlanta United, so maybe we're getting all their leftovers. Make Aberdeen great again. Uh, make yeah, Atlanta right. great again. I don't know, but Christian Ramirez, I think, could be our main man, at least in the first season going forward. He's not going to improve much, but he has a goal scorer, 70 overall, joint highest with Lewis Ferguson. I expect this man to lead the line. Next up, though, Marley Watkins. That's a shite player there. I mean, 67 rated. I've never heard of the guy. Yeah, he is. What? You've never heard? He's 30 years old, 67 overall. Again, you can play him up front, can play him on the right. Will probably be a big part of our team going forward. Right, I've heard him, but what's he done this season for Aberdeen? He, he's going to need to help Ramirez banging goals or we're going to have success. And then the only other striker that we've got in the team, Michael Roof, 19-year-old, 54 overall. I don't think we can rely on this guy much to uh, save the day. No. So that is pretty much the team guys at Aberdeen. Safe to say we're fucked. Yeah, it looks like we've got a really big uh, rebuild job on our hands here. And into the youth team, we've got six youngsters ready to make the move. Well, some of them are 15, so they can't. But we've got Hugh Leons, no bad, but not great. Next up with Michaelson, pretty shite as well. But next guy, this guy, Kirk Marshall, already 66 rated at 16, and his potential can reach 94. And his lowest is 78. Yeah, so, I mean, this guy... So I'm fucking up. This guy, I think, will not be in the youth team much longer and he's six foot three yeah i mean this guy really could be you know the next the next big thing um yeah so looking forward four to, star skills five star weak foot yeah looking forward to potentially 
playing a lot with this guy. Fucking 84 potential. free kick accuracy. Get him signed up. I don't think we're going to sign him up right away. Why not, though? But we'll... He's we'll, the fucking man. I know, but we'll... His we'll, name's Kirk. All right, well. There's so much potential. We've got Suarez, not quite Lewis. It's Isadoro Suarez coming in for Colombia. We don't know how he got over here, but we cartel members. Yep. Uh, he could be a smuggler. We don't know, but at the racism. moment... Racism. That's not nice, right? Morelos is Colombian. You've just went and buried him. You know what? This guy could be no bad, actually. Because he's, what, 58 overall and he's 17 years old? Yeah. 81 no. acceleration, 76 sprint. Yeah, this guy could be pretty good. Oh, no. I know. I don't think anyone else is ready to be called up yet, but we are going to keep an eye on definitely Kurt Marshall and Suarez. I mean, let's, two- let's just talk this straight, right? So, Kurt Marshall, 66 rated, 16 potential, 94. We're struggling on the left. We've got fucking Nabdy. We've only got Matty Kennedy. He's probably lower rated than this fucking guy, and you're like, just keep him there? Well, we need to nurse him in. We need to like, nurse him in. We, can't just, we him. can't just throw him in at the deep end. For all we know, right? We're going to throw him into the six foot uh, non shallow end, and he can't swim. So, I will. We don't have a swimming pool, can't afford it. Well, Celtic have got loads of kiddie pools, maybe we could borrow one of them. Damn. Here we go, opening game of the Singe Premiership. It is the only derby that matters. It is the new form derby. Forget about those other clubs, those clubs that touch kids, those clubs that are deed, those clubs that are skint. They don't matter. The only thing that matters Aberdeen and Dundee United. Deed clubs that are also skint, Aberdeen and Dundee United. There's the danger man today for Dundee United. No idea who it fucking is. I'm going to guess it's Ian Harks. But he looks a good player. I'd nice say the danger man for Dundee United would be Tony Watt, but you know what? We'll look over that. We'll call it Ian Harks. Dundee United, Master League legend. But anyway, we're lining up with Joe Lewis. We're going with some youth McKenzie and Ramsey in the ring back positions with Bates and uh, that other guy, Ferguson. Uh, Kennedy at McLaren. And the attacking trio midfield. And then it's, it's Ramirez up front. It couldn't really choose between Ramirez or Marley Watkins. But we gave the nod to Ramirez. Hopefully he can repay us today with a few goals here against Dundee United. But it's, it's not going to be easy. Dundee United, solid team. They'll be pushing for a European spot. You feel Sigrist in Nets, always, always reliable. Always capable of making good saves. McCann, Mulgrew, Nielsen, Edwards and Smith. The back five will be difficult to break down. Harks, Livett and Butcher in the midfield. Puts you're obviously the captain. And up front, there's goals in this team. There's, Mc, there's McNulty and Tony Watt. So, uh, aye, dangerous. They're doing the huddle. Hopefully that means they don't play like Celtic or we could be in trouble. But here we go. That rhymed. But it's time. They fucking shine. Here we go. It's Aberdeen versus Dundee United. You fucking bitch. Can you fucking string a scene? You know what? Just drink, sponsors. Dundee United. And I think they'll be drinking. They'll be down in their sorrows after the night. Here we go. Match is off. Opener of the season's here. There can only be one winner. And it's going to be the red team. Who's going to stake their claim as the undisputed New Farm Derby winners? McNulty. Brilliant defending there for Declan Gallagher. The whole line held their own. Yeah, right. I mean, that's... Well, Declan Gallagher was the one that made the actual challenge, but fair enough. I mean, he doesn't even fucking attempt to win that, man. That's not good enough. Brilliant defending again. I think we need to be better defensively in this career mode or else it could go to shite like all the others. Ramsey out to McLean and McLean trying to find uh, McCrory. No, oh, he's trying to play in Lewis Ferguson here. Lewis Ferguson, no, oh, close. Not close enough to Sigrist read the danger. And he came out and snapped up the ball. Brilliant there for Ramsey. Not too good there though for Davy Bates. Putting us in needless fucking trouble for no reason. We switched the play, it didn't go well. It should be one now, and it would have been all this guy's fault sitting next to me, but luckily. Davy Bates sitting beside you, huh? <laughs> it's fucking on the next plane back to Germany, wherever the fuck he came from. I'm surprised they managed to get him. <laughs> Based on this performance, I don't want him. Right, Ramsey. To Ramirez. Big Gaston. I wish. Well, he's not even that fucking good, Gaston. Bullet to Ramsey. Oh, he's trying to find this Ramirez. Oh, he's trying to follow it. McCrory. Lays it off to Ojo. Fuck me, this team is in I mean, what's the midfield? You know, they just named every fucking midfielder. Oh, Joe Lewis had to get to it. He did get to it. Oh, where the fuck did he run that for? 
Does well and then just punts it into man on a mission. Rose. Oh no. McNulty. Look at that fucking McCrory, man. Or the blue guy. What do you want to call him? Like Bates. I don't know why. I don't like him being this far forward. Big Fergo. He's not quite Barry. He's not quite Duncan. Or is he? It's Lewis Ferguson! Nice shape. Duncan! Back to Lewis. Lewis getting Clean a touch sheet, the ball. 25 minutes in. Not often. Our goalkeeper say that, but at the moment Lewis has it. It's Ramirez in. Maybe he signed someone with pace. Turning slower than a fucking double decker bus with no tyres on it. But he's played in. Matty Kennedy, who is through. And he's oh, put it away. Kennedy. Fuck, he looks weird, huh? He literally looks like he came off a boat from El Salvador to Aberdeen. <laughs> was this the North Sea? Is that a boat or was it a dinghy? I don't know. Same thing. Tell you what, we might keep him here. Based on this performance, Aberdeen have started the game no bad. Brilliant for Declan Gallagher. Absolutely fantastic tap uh, challenge. We sandwiched him, it. Brilliant for you, Calvin Ramsey, defensively. We have been a rock. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Lewis Ferguson. He gets dragged away. Ramirez uh, opening up some space for his tag team partner. Ferguson slides in to maintain the ball. but yeah, he does maintain Ramirez the ball. Ramirez with distance. Ah, Ferguson, great space. Comfortable Half save. Half time, though. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's been a... Good wee hat. Uh, it's been no bad. Defensively, it's been good for the Aberdeen fans. But they probably want goals. And at the moment, we don't really look like we're going to score any. St Johnston and St Mirren both leading 1-0 in their respective games. We would love to join them in the 1-0 club in the second half. Let's find out if we can do it or not. Yeah! Playing well, but you mean you're not contributing much? Did you say it's not concentrating? Oh, me too. Aye, Mike Kennedy! Kennedy! McCrory doesn't want any of it though. Oh my, all you do is flick it through. Don't like this. Good block. We need to get more men back. Crody, they're trying to get back. McCrody needs to get to that. He doesn't, but Joe Lewis is there. Good defending. In the end, flicked. Ramirez finds Mike Kennedy. Ferguson. Oh, Ferguson's making the run here through the middle. It's Lewis Ferguson. He Surely. takes a decent touch, no. but he's been closed down by Seagrass. I closed fucking down. I could have got a shot with any fucking earlier. We talking about? How's he not been closed down? Because the touch was pish. Could have fucking done a lot better there. Anyway, it was Ferguson. Why you take it the fucking heart? Kennedy. Oh, I dive neither. McCrory's running in. Ramirez plays it off to him. <laughs> no. <laughs> you actually laid that fucking off. That was perfect. I know, but it's not. I was, I was facing away for goal. Should I be expecting that? I think so. Aye. I have no fucking idea where he was. I was facing away for goal. I thought you. I seen you running in. I thought right, this is. I have to pass it. No, and he's been done. <laughs> and Joe Luke. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> what was that? I get done. So do <laughs> Joe, so Joe Luke. You Joe Luke did the exact same fucking movement. And run at the fucking road? Oh, what is that, man? Seriously? Like, I get it, right? He's done me in. I've, all game, I've been fucking great defensively, right? Oh, I fucking... Like, Grind the applause, fucking... No, he does me in. But can Joe Lewis no try and help me out here? Can Joe Lewis no try and pull me at the shitter? I will. I mean, what... No, he doesn't even, he doesn't even fucking die. That's like me committing murder and Joe Lewis takes the murder weapon to the police station. But like, here he goes, prints are on it. I mean, what the fuck? He's... he's He's done. He's, he's fucking. He's shot him with it. Oh my Christ! We're falling apart. See, playing well. Can see the goal. Go to absolute dog shit. It's, it's the Aberdeen way. It's the fog way. Woo. It's Ferguson. <laughs> oh, I don't know how it's went in. It's a fucking calamity. What? Who's probably in play? That was a shocker pass to me. <laughs> Ramirez was about two seconds away for getting substituted, but somehow <laughs> he made it work. And he's, um, yeah, I mean. It's not. I don't even think it's a fucking pat. They don't need any guy that's played us through. 1 1. And the Seagulls gave up like fucking Joe Lewis did. Bates stands up, wins it, charges forward, he plays in Kennedy. Kennedy! 
Lewis Ferguson. Lewis Ferguson. Kind of hard to hit it. Kennedy through to Ferguson. To Ramirez. Ojo through to McCrory. It's Ross McCrory. And he does it. He scores for Aberdeen. And Aberdeen are in the lead in the new farm derby. We were 1 0 down. We pulled it back. He, he's not your fucking prick. Get it right up you. It's 2 1 to Aberdeen. Oh, lovely play. Bottom right. The sheep survive. They're not being slaughtered tonight. The cattle will remain in the fields. Sucking on their the free cattle, point grass. The cattle's fucking cows, mate. Right, the herd then? Fuck the cattle. Like Dundee United, the cattle, and they're being sent to the fucking slaughter. Who's at the moment? I don't know yet. He's. That's sh absolutely shocking. I tell you what, it's a great challenge. Though. Johnny fucking Hayes! It's Johnny Hayes! He just came on! Sure, sure. It's Ojo! It's no! It's a goal though! It doesn't even matter who it is! It's the wee Dutch kid on the right wing! And he scored! Well, oh, Dean have turned this one around! Like, another shocking pass for me, at least, though. <laughs> Fuck, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna cut the ball away from that one. Oh, yeah, that's what I do! That's what I do! It's worked twice today. You know what? Can work again. Secret's no happy. Uh, two done the United players lying on the floor. Ah, yeah, smallest guy in the pitch. Nice wee header. I don't think it was him. <laughs> it looks like it's the Dundee United defender. Clatter's into him, but they all count. 3 1. Should be three points. Tactical foul there for Davy Bates. <laughs> 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 oh, he's no. I was feeling the worst there for Davy Bates, but. Right, Lewis, what are you doing? Get fucking over there. Mulgrew! Gallagher. He defend. No. He does enough though to put him off. But that's pish poor. It's Clark. It's oh, a great challenge. It's fucking quality. <laughs> bodies Bates clears it. And that'll do it. We've won the opening game. We've won the new form derby. We're proved we're the best team in the league. At least for now. I'm celebrating like we've won the league. Oh, hell yeah. Aberdeen don't know what it feels like to win a game. Well, now they do. Aberdeen free. On the air at one, and this guy gets to stay in the country for at least another week. Damn. You alright? Yeah. What? Fucking made a lot of feds today. Throat's a bit sore. Ten shots to the four. I think we deserved the win. I mean, I would have probably took a draw when one 0 didn't, but in the end, I thought we were the far superior team. Yes, St Johnson 2 0. Dundee and St Mirren 1 each, and then Hearts sale take. Later Sorry, on, this evening. I know it's early, I know it's not really worth celebrating yet, but Aberdeen never have anything to celebrate, so let's go ahead and celebrate it. Crack open the champagne after match day one. We are top of the table. Normally we're top after match day zero because it's alphabetical order, but now we're actually legit on merit, top of the table. How do you feel after transforming this gigantic club around and turning them from first after match day zero to first after match day one? It will only go downhill from here. Uh, well, they can't really go any higher, I mean, unless we win the league and get into the Champions League, which ain't happening. But yeah, no, we're ahead of Rangers at the moment. Five teams on three points. Rangers, St. Johnson, Celtic and Mullerwell. We will look to continue our winning ways, though, next time out when we take on Livingston and Hearts. Two big games, and two games, though, that we will feel that we can win after that great performance against Dundee United. We've got to get the confidence going. We've got to keep the momentum swinging, and hopefully we can stay at the top of the table. But that's going to do it, guys, for this episode. Make sure you tune into the next one. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Share this video. Share it far. Share it wide, share it wherever you are, and hopefully we can get noticed on some platforms here and we'll get some of our Dean fans in and they can actually see their team in red win for a change. But until next time, peace.